mutugende mu church tujja kuonya by copy bly and pastor bugembe yes buli wajja mu church remember that there is healing in the church you're listening to 96.6 spirit fm and you are watching us live on spirit tv a place for you it's the wake up call nema diana here king of radio and uh, oh yeah. and we are talking about sex education why is it that so many parents fear opening up to their children and before we left off we were talking about what age should we be able to talk about should we introduce sex education to our children mm. right there mm. welcome back thank you diana and uh well just so you know the spirit uh media hub is still ongoing on in case you need someone or yourself you need to jump start your career or to get hands-on skills in camera handling you want to learn how to be in the technical room where if you know but take care of the control room you want to learn how to edit audios you want yeah. to be a tv presenter radio presenter you want to learn how to do graphics motion graphics still graphics camera well, this is a place for there's you there's a open. lot for you to learn so just come and enroll come to our offices here at media plaza level three and i'll be giving you more details we are open personally today i have two classes uh, that i'm going to be conducting those who are uh, interested in you're presenting mm. uh, not and actually as we do the show there mm. are people already taking their practical classes yeah. doing yeah. it uh, the gentleman on camera right yeah. now who's Derek yeah. hey. he, he's, he's learning on job mm. and you don't get that one we, anywhere. we, we have over three over here so in case doing it <laughs> handling it in, in case you see one of uh, my ear is cut off and hey, head just no manyawaru a church a church fine tuning i'm in there uh -huh. but we give you two months of hands-on engagement and you walk away with the skill set you walk away with a certificate and uh, what does the skill set do for you you mm -hmm. get to earn yeah, some right money hey, right out of your away. sweat so please come over here to watch kulala but that put aside we're asking in this uh, last link or the last hour mm. uh, why are parents shying away from this conversation yeah because they don't have the moral authority <laughs> there is that yeah they have seen them where did they have seen them what and you no know, most mm. of them are shying away because mm. some of them do not you see however much the number of those that are married is seriously up there but also there is a particular number that is not also mm. worded mm. very well so now we have a whole a huge number of single parents you understand that mm -hmm. now it, it becomes very hard for you to even and and, and the challenge we are trading in that we're in a particular system today that kids are very inquisitive yeah very very inquisitive and then the inquisitiveness has been has been brought up because of exposure to too much information mm. so they're exposed to a lot of information and then before I, I, as a former kid i know i i this is what happens in my mind while i get this information i'm also trying to f balance the books of where i come from and the people that are around me and then now I gauge the ability. That's why sometimes... So you pretend like you don't know yeah, yet you know. Yeah, I pretend I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm gauging. Ndaba mu kati ono. Taina cha ngamba kubanga kati ate. Gugira chino ono. Hati kati ya funo lukuto kuru jine miaka. Tukama ulie mbwana ya mzala na nga mwana kati onida. Then you realize into your aunt taina musajja taina cha ngamba na ye. So, so you... you you, what you, what you, happened you to elders food. being elders regardless of no, because how, what because choices of the they made? They also need parenting. They also I need know. parenting. The elders need parenting. But also, again, because of too much information. And this information comes in a space where it empowers your child to be a leader. And empowers your child to be take, to take control. Mm. That's very true. Uh, Remember, but, but also depending on the age of the of the uh, child that you're trying to. They are very curious. Inquisitiveness and curiosity right now mm. does not have a particular age limit. When a okay. P4 young chap yeah. thinks is very sharp. They are very older than you as a parent. The P5, P6, P7 year old ch children that are sexually active today. They are. And it's the yeah. sad reality. I have a friend in Sunday school who told me kids as low as nursery, grade one, grade, I mean, actually, K5, K, K something, already indulge in these things. Mm. No, by the time, by the time a girl is 15 years today, their experience in those particular things is uh, way up there in the sky. Than their mother. Than their mother. Mm. It's bigger than their mother. The, well, it depends on their body the count is ne mama, more ne mama, ne mama than their mother. Yeah, but sometimes, my mama, but I 
the mother and the daughter. I want to, to talk to a parent, regardless of whether you're married or not, regardless of whether you're a single father or a single fa mother, your job is really, 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 really important in that child. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Still contributing yeah. to don't, their lives. From, right from childhood, childhood. Yeah. in those portions, for child, senior four, senior three. That's why the challenge we have. Mm. We used to think we know what our people for cheta go kuli now, the King Chaku government, your wife knows what a senior six should know. Mm. Yeah. That's how things are flipped. Should so we now start to... listening to those children first so I, I think and the, get the, to know how much are we going to know? First and foremost, all of you mothers and fathers, can you download AIs on your uh, phones? Yeah. Can you first understand now AI, how AI operates and works? And also, can you monitor what they have on their phones, on their gadgets? They said they have a right to privacy, and you have to give it to them. Uh, the thing that I who like decides? Oh, you Mama, depending Mama. on whose house. We are going to take throw you in jail here for for violation of rights. We have NGOs fighting for children's rights. Tomalaga, Mukuba, Tomalaga, Mugamba. Siku Mukuba, but it's part of it. But it's part of it. It's part of it. They just want to mess it up. If it's about your protection, and I need to know what's going on on your phone, what you search for, who talks to you, what... They'll become more secretive. Especially if you're still underage. But again, you as a parent... They'll become more secretive. You again as a parent, how much do you know of a phone? How do you know? Do you know to use that? Yeah, phone well? parents these Obana, days are educated. Obana, would you, can you you come to parents. You yeah. can't get. If I ask the parent to get me a such history of what the phone works, uh, what the smartphone has had for a whole day, and we can count and ten. Uh, and kids are very one. clever. They delete every. No. They clear. They have. Uh, yeah. um, dark pages they go on mm. and they hide their entire history they it never exists these phones are very secretive if you know how to use it mm. very well and hide yeah. content but what i wanted to advocate for is how wh wh what's your communication like with your child or in actual muslim because if you've not taught your child anything right from childhood you're not going to wake up and get one now and get, now you've become of age and I'll tell you about girls no it doesn't start from that you do bible study with them Mm -hmm. Do they see you as a teacher? Do they see you as someone who adds value to them that they can learn something from you? Mm. Yeah. Or it's them teaching you stuff? Do you show them the way? Yeah. Mm. So if you're showing them the way, they'll rely on your content. I to Balimba, basing on yeah, how and, much and, he knows. And, and again, also, OJ, mm. uh, some of this information does not have to be a sit down discussion. Mm -mm. While you're doing dishes, while you're doing all the things. But also, the other thing is that what, c can it be a continuous discussion? Like anything around us, honestly speaking, mm. every day triggers us to actually think in a sexual direction. Almost everything yeah. around us. Mm. How people dress up. No, 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 ABCD, and this is the interpretation mm. of how people think of you after they've seen you dressed like this. Then, no more in picking and agamba. Okay, they do understand. I want, be, do I want to be interpreted in a very wrong way. No, so let me dress this particular side. Yeah, so and again, this business of parents leaving children dress up what they want and get out of that house on your watch should stop. Yeah, while they are going out, no one gets out of this house with the skirts shorter than their knees get back in yamba rajo yamba de oli oko gende then they know mti chine chini tu chiva chibi atete ni wachimuga amba chimubu lide why parents no longer have last time then when was the last time you've seen a parent accompanying their daughter in a shopping mall to buy clothes very few few very few they just allow kids buy what they want what their friends are putting on is what they put on the school where my kids go they have dress school themes every week I said today we are doing uh, pages. The other day we are doing office wear. The other day we are doing this. And I think the, the idea behind that is to allow kids to know the different clothes for a particular season. Mm. Uh, because ideally, if a kid knows how to judge as early. <laughs>
PJs wa mama PJs maika kategeza oba tukeso nyo oba tukaveko ya nangi na wazugulia kolo for that particular exhibition na exhibition we have was about so many times i've gone here at akashia and yeah. i've seen young girls hang out by themselves mm. 15 14 with 16, a lot of cash with a lot of cash yeah. and uh, parents do not know in which company their children are and, it, and you if your child cannot be able to open up and mm. tell you around Nienze 15 one to tell you that I, ha I i have a crush or i have a boyfriend and you think yours is an angel you're lying this is as in that the still like asia very young girl very like young girl you know that you know man nga yo mwala ya gamba i have a crush on you nga ya la gira you get it young ambido point blank Now if you if you are not nenkana bila woni ndabanga dole do you know that imagine at that time nembuza which school do you go to nangama no i don't go to school mngana kuna bolimba ah you go to school ala bako imanti at campus am at campus yeah yeah gambe campus but i don't go to school i think it's one senior two the most i used to do those things netwa married zanga was senior two but which school wow they are not dealer but they feel mature yeah she feel like they can go for whatever so the 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 there are so many people that take advantage of such children for example king one wadom take up test in moto kasenga to wadom locally and you take her somewhere and bring her back to the same what Place. Same place and yeah. their parents would have no idea because they would never confide in their parents so if we could get the children to a point where they can confide in us mm. they feel peace like they don't feel like ogenda bab kambu walido ogenda kuyomba you know you're going to blame them for whatever it is can you share the experiences get to know what your child goes through yeah. what they like even if it's wrong get to know about it and find a way of fine tuning them to a better you know reasoning and and preferences i have a question on that one mm. it's just to caution the parents if your kids open up please be mature mm. and keep their little secrets yeah uh, true yeah, by the way yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like even yeah. yesterday mm. i i didn't make her feel terrible mm. and feel bad mm. like oh really hey, oh really oh, thank you hey, you cool. can have my number but mm. just know i'm a 40 year old kagama what kagama i am <laughs> yeah, I think she's like you didn't add on 47. She would have <laughs> They don't care. They like yeah, yeah, but, but at least <laughs> yeah. she there's a way she expressed herself and mm. spoke what she felt. Yeah. And for me I was like you okay well like I, a child. You get that mm. a lot really get we get that a lot most times but munimu age jola bangi yoko crushing ako. Munimu ne age jola banga na 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 yeno na mugambira wo. Innocence. Innocence. Ne mugamba no no call me anytime feel free to call me anytime but just know you're calling a 40 year old. There are particular yeah, times so of the night you don't call. Yeah. And you laugh because about it. Yeah. 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 And you laugh about it and she was very happy and excited. Ebwe, your little daughter tells you her things then you tell the brothers you no, tell you the father, singa, no, it sing, and then they start bullying her over the same thing hey still about this conversation we want to join in tumjitulikire mbozi tubagala namwe mu contributing you have teenagers eh hey, you've been a teenager before yeah, when you come back yeah, we help jump start your day like this uh, wake up call This is Mrs. Musoke. A loving wife, mother of one and a celebrated business owner in her community. But her journey to this point has been difficult. Mrs. Musoke has always been a hard worker with big aspirations. Her dream was always to own her own business to provide for her family and give back to her community. But 
meaningful business ownership opportunities were very limited. Things finally began to look more optimistic the day Mrs. Musoke partnered with the right people at a franchise network called Jibo. That's the day her opportunity began to transform. Jibu provided her with financing, equipment and training to be able to own her own franchise. Purifying and selling affordable, refillable drinking water and cooking gas in her community. And soon that transformation began to improve the wellness of her family, her community and the environment. Mrs. Musoke's dreams are coming true through her partnership with Jibu. Because now she is transforming the opportunity to thrive for everyone around her. Jibu, transforming lives in more than seven countries and 5,000 communities across Africa.